Matt's Red Show here. Today we are at Ellingson Motor Cars in Rogers, Minnesota, uh, looking at some of the nicest restored classic cars you're gonna see anywhere. They, they, uh, every single car you see today is for sale. Uh, I've been here before. Um, again, this is not a paid video. I just love coming out here and showing, showcasing the cars they have here. Um, the last time I was out here, I don't think I included the prices and a lot of people were like, tell me the prices. So I'm gonna tell you the prices for every one of these cars. I'll tell you what they got in it and uh, what they're asking for it, what kind of car it is, what year it is. Um, but yeah, this is, this is an amazing place here, you guys. So um, any of the cars that you do see in this video though, they also have a website and they've got a YouTube channel. So I'll put those links below so you can check out any other details about any of these cars on their website and their YouTube channel. So. So yeah guys, this is going to be a fun episode, so I think you're going to enjoy this episode. I've been here for a while now, and I've filmed every single car that they have in this place, and they have a ton. Alrighty gang, well without further ado, let's get in there. Let's start taking a look at all these cars, guys. I think you're going to enjoy this video. Let's do this. Alrighty gang. I am excited about this. I have not been back here for an entire year. The entire inventory has been turned around. I think he said he had one car here that was probably in last year's video that was here last year. I have no idea which one it would be, but everything is brand new. Well, you know, new, new to them to sell and everything. So, oh my gosh, there's so many nice cars here. Holy cow, okay. Well, I'm gonna get started over here. We'll take a look at all of them today. Let's do this. Let's go back to the corner here. Let's start with the little guy. A little 1955 Nash Metropolitan. Got the cars packed in here pretty good this time around. <laughs> I love these cars. I don't know if it's the song that makes it so endearing to me, but they're just fun. Oh, I think in the song I was a little Nash Rambler, right? Not a Nash Metropolitan. I don't know. <laughs> Cute cars. Try to film a little info about the car and the windshield. Here's a 1964 Corvair. Asking $16,995 for it. Flat six back here. Here we have a 1962 Chevy 2 Nova. Asking 39.995 for it. It's got a 194 straight six in it. Reproduction of these cars. This is a 1985. It's done to the exact scale and dimensions of a real uh, Duesenberg. So, I think wow. 26 of these. 26 of them. That's it. You know, it's a it's a modern drivetrain, a Ford modern drivetrain. So we had it out, drove 70 miles an hour, goes down the freeway. That's awesome. It's just a Gosh, it's beautiful. Car. Yeah, can you imagine a 1929 or 1930, give or take? Jeez. I love the dual like straight windshields and everything. Wow, look at this thing. So these cars back here are probably not on the website yet. No, these are all uh, there. This we have to do the video yet. That came yeah. in yesterday. Uh, the 
one on the hoist or fixing the fixing the speedometer cable. A little 64. Is that an Austin Healy? Healy, yes, oh, it is. Oh, wow. Look at Beautifully that. restored. Oh, wow. Is that a little Sprite? Yep. You look underneath this and this is, yeah, that's about as nice. A, wow. Yeah, this is a nice little color for somebody. It's How much will this go for? You know, I think it's around that 30000 30, Yeah. I'm sure they spent more than that in the restoration process. <laughs> you don't get much in this day and age for that. Yeah. In California, all you get is a paint job for that now. Oh, sure. In California, the paint jobs are $30,000 now. My goodness. This is a little Impala here. Green Impala convertible, 348. Yep, we're just in getting this thing all put together. Yeah. Detailing it out. Over steering brakes. Yeah. Nice yeah. yeah, for sure. And this one is the next one that has to get painted. It's a 69 Jaguar. Ooh, okay. Jaguar. So, yeah. Nice. This be a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got There's some exciting stuff coming down the pipeline here. Yeah, there you go. And the of course, stuff. with these oh. doors here, you gotta. Uh, <laughs> with these doors open like this, it yeah. must be a time machine. There you go. <laughs> Flux capacitor. <laughs> Where do you find a flux capacitor nowadays? Yeah, right. so, and the, okay, now this one here you said is going to be pretty rare. Yeah, one well, of them. Oh, I'm trying to think. It's in the a uh, month. Months jet. Months jet. Yeah, I mean 52 to 54. I think they made them. Okay. Not very many of these to be found. Months jet just arrived. Yeah, in the process. Got lots of work to do yet, but well worth doing. Awesome. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> Appreciate the little extra tour. Yeah. Yeah, well, that was fun. Got to go back and see a few of the cars that are coming down the line there. Here's a 1937 LaSalle Series 50 convertible sedan. Gosh, there's just so many nice cars at this place. They do such a good job showing them and just preparing them. We got squeaky. Squeaky floors. Look at the gear shifter. It's like a Christmas gear shifter. <laughs> Look at that dash. Here's a 1931 Cadillac. Asking uh, 129995 for it. Here's a fun truck, 1960 Studebaker Champ. Asking around 35 for it. It's got a 259.2 V8 in it. I've not seen too many of these Studebaker trucks. Only a couple over all the car shows I've been to. I'm not sure how rare they are, but I sure don't see them a lot. They are cool though. It's a 67 Buick convertible. Asking fifty nine 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 seven for it. It does say price reduced. There's a sticker on it, so I don't know if that's the reduced price or the current price. machine DeLorean he 
he was saying they got to do some electrical wiring work on it some brake work on it and just you know needs needs some work but it's not in bad shape for one of these and DeLoreans of course were made I think from like 80 81 82 and maybe that was it maybe 83 so I'm not sure what, what year this one was you can tell by where the gas tank is I think what year this one is it's not on the some of the gas tanks I think are on the hood gas tanks not on the hood so therefore it is a certain year I think though I'm not sure might be 81 I don't know of course you can always tell by looking at this <laughs> August of 81 there you have it look at this I love these Pontiac Catalina Safari Wagon. <laughs> Sorry about my glare, my camera there. Wow. Such good shape. Look at that steering wheel. Got the 347 V8 in it. They're asking 49995 for this girl. I'm just gonna cruise past some of these older Cadillacs here. A 1962 Cadillac asking 89995 for this one. Here, Cadillac Series 85 four door sedan, 69 995 for this one. And we've got a 1938 Cadillac Series four door convertible here, 149 995. Some beautiful Cadillacs there. You can find out more information, of course, on any of these cars that I'm showing you on their website. So let's cruise back here to get these two guys. Let's start with the Corvette here 64 Corvette. Man, this thing is beautiful. Matching numbers, L84, 327, fuel injected V8. They're asking 119,995 for this. My goodness, it's beautiful though. Go back and get a couple shots more of this months. Beautiful Cadillac, 1941 Cadillac Series, 61.5 passenger. Asking uh, 69.995. Here's a 
1967 Ford Mustang. It's got the 289 V8 in it. Automatic. Love the steering wheel. That is the right steering wheel, man. They're asking 49995. Super 88 convertible automobile, of course. Yeah, it's getting 64, 995. Probably just assume that there's a 995 at the end of all these prices. It's got the 350 V8 in it. Man, this is in such good condition. Oh, this thing is incredible. Looks like some newer interior, maybe. Here's a 1955 Pontiac Star Chief. Look at all the fun stuff on the front. Look at that. Those light up. Asking 94, 995. Oh, look at that. This thing is incredible. Wow. Let me fit through here. Here it is, one of my favorite Chevys here. 1960 Impala. They have two of these here. Another one's out front, I'll show you. This one is going for 89,995. Got the 283 V8 in it. It's a 55 Oldsmobile. Super 88 convertible. It's got the Continental kit on the back. With the 324 Rocket V8 in it. They're asking 89,995. Is it called a Continental kit on all the cars? Or is it just like the Fords? I'm not sure if it's called a Continental kit. You have a spare tire back here on all of the classic cars, the different makes. Or if it was just certain makes that call it that. It's right next to a 67 Camaro going for 52,995. 327 V8. And got the Chevy Camaro right next to Mustang. It's a uh, 66 Mustang convertible, of course. It's got the 289 V8 in it. Here's one that they just got in 
another Oldsmobile 88. Oldsmobile 88. I don't have it on. Right. It's brand spanking new. Fifty-six Oldsmobile eighty-eight. Yeah, look at this. They got one of those old like throwback Corvettes they made in I think what is it two thousand four, <laughs> meant to kind of resemble the C ones. Asking eighty-nine nine nine five. I wonder how many of these they made. <laughs> They're kind of interesting. I don't know that I don't know that they're for me, but I do appreciate, you know, kind of the fun throwback style they did. See how close they are. So here's the 2004 throwback. I'll pan to the right here. <laughs> nice. I'll take this one. It's either a 59 or a 60. I think. Beautiful. It's a nice Corvette. Here's another one that just arrived, an old Ford Fairlane. I don't know pricing or details on it. Check their website. I'm going to cruise past a couple of beautiful old Packards. This one's going for $89,995. It's a 1938. This one here, Packard 8 sedan, 1936. It's going for $36,995. Old Packers, you know I love them. Beautiful. Such cool cars. AMC AMX here. Arrived, so they're still working on it. I think a little bit. Nice manual. Here's another Star Chief. This is a '56. Pontiac Star Chief, Catalina Coupe. It's got a 316 Strato Streak V8. cars here. Spent all day at this place, man. So a nice Mustang. This is the 66 Mustang. It's got a 289. Here's 
something you do not see very often. A cord, not to be confused with Ford, but a cord. 1937 Cord 812 Phaeton. Do you pronounce it Phaeton? Or is it like Phaeton? I'm not sure. Asking 179, 995 for this. Super unique, look at this. Just don't see front ends look like that. Pretty incredible car. Wow, look at that. Absolute classics here, the 59 Ford Fairlane, right next to a 55 Bel Air. Can't get more classic than these two girls here. Look at that. Which one are you taking home? Fairlane's got the 332 V8. Chevy's got the 350 in her. Asking uh, 59 995 for the Fairlane. They're asking uh, 49 995 for the Chevy here. Yeah, this is a nice car. <laughs> really liking this 55, the black and white. Oh my gosh, dude, look at this thing. Oh, that's just so grand. Here's a 55 Packard Caribbean, or Caribbean, however you want to pronounce that. 69995. It's got the 352 V8 in it. Take a look here. Yeah. Ask the man who owns one. window truck back here just arrived I'm not sure the year of it Looks like it's in good shape. Gosh I feel like I've seen this before. Maybe it was a different one. I might have to go through my car show videos. I feel like I've seen this at one of my car shows. I guess right next to a Kaiser here. I'd recognize that. I don't know if you call it a Widow's Peak or whatever, but the way the windows kind of come in in the middle, it's 
It's very unique to Kaiser's. Kaiser, Manhattan, just arrived. So, bummer I won't be able to tell you anything about it, but Kaiser, Manhattan, I don't know how much it's going for or anything else about it, but beauty. I think it's a 53. Don't quote me on that. Actually, there was a little piece of paper sitting on the uh, front seat there. It said it was a 54. So there you have it. 54 Kaiser Manchester. Look at that. so unique. Guys, this place is so incredible. Just all these treasures. You feel like you're walking through a treasure chest. Every one of them is so unique. Look at what, the, what in the world? It's a gigantic radio fly. <laughs> gotta take a look at that. We'll get there. We'll get there. Got a nice old Cadillac here. I don't know any information on this, of course, because there's nothing on the window there or anything. But it's a 59. I know that much packed in here very tightly <laughs> 59 Cadillac convertible two-door it's very I would think this is a very desirable year in style Whew. sorry I don't know anything else about it but that is nice of the front ends on this. Must have been some bright roads in front of these things. <laughs> here I come. Moving on down the line here, we got a 49 Chevy pickup. It's uh, going for 42.995. It's got the uh, 235 in line six in it. Thunderbird that's just arrived. Man, so they're going to be putting a lot of these on their website, so look out for a lot of these cars here. Here's another one of my favorites, a 64 Impala. It's going for 43995 It's got the 283 V8 in it. Hudson. So look at that, a Hudson Hornet. I do believe this is a 1954 Hudson Hornet. Look at this thing. Wow, I've not seen one like this before. Here's a uh, another 59 Cadillac convertible. This one they're asking $189,995 for. It's got the 390 V8 in it. Look at that. Incredible. Let's 
Looks like they got a nice Oldsmobile Cutlass that's just arrived here too. They're gonna be putting out. They're up on their website anyway. And it's part right next to this gigantic radio flyer. <laughs> Look at this. I wonder if they're selling this or if it's just for for storage maybe. <laughs> I wonder if they built this on top of. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> you don't see things like this very often. Is this a van? This looks like a van they have this built on top of here. <laughs> That's crazy. Here's an old Ford. I think it's a 32. Rumble seat in the back here. There's no information on this one though. Must be working on it. Here's a 57 Ford Thunderbird. With the, I believe it was called an opera window, somebody informed me. If I'm remembering right, <laughs> opera window. Asking 89995. It's got a 312 V8. So a 57 right next to a 2002. <laughs> Right next to a Willys Aero Ace, a 1952 Willys Aero Ace, asking 24995 for it. That's cool. Let's see very many of these Willys around. It's got a 161 in line six. So they got them packed in here pretty tight for the winter. <laughs> Next to a 56 Ford Fairlane Club Sedan, asking 44995 for it. It's got the 292 V8 in it. Continental kit. Oh, look at that. Look at all that green. <laughs> Love it. So here's another just arrived. This thing is incredible. It's an old Packard. Look at this. Packard 8. Just arrived to inquire for pricing. I have no idea. Look at this windshield. Wow. <laughs> I think it's a 34. 1934. <laughs> Look at that. to a 1951 Nash Statesman Custom Coupe. Asking 39,995. <laughs> Look at 
the plastic on the is it squeaky? It would be. <laughs> Got a 184 inline six. Here's a 1970 Chevy Chevelle Super Sport Tribute Vehicle. Asking 79.995. This is an amazing car. It's got the 454 V8 in it. Yeah, buddy. And it is a four speed manual. You can get this bad boy up and going pretty quick. Right next to a 56 Chevy Bel Air two door. Hard top. They're asking uh, 64, 995 for this one. Six Ford Mustang here asking uh, 34 995 for this it's got the 289 in it V8 of course and right next to a Ford Victoria 1956 they're asking 45 995 for this it's got the 292 V8 in it Here's a 1953 Buick Skylark. It's a convertible. It's got a 322 V8 in it. Asking uh, 109.995 for this. Got a Chevy and a Mustang back here. 1966 Ford Mustang convertible. Asking 49995 for this. We got a nice Chevy 2 Nova back here. 39995 for this. 1962. Man, that's some nice cars. Here's an old 59 Dodge D100 Swips. Swe swept side pickup. I was about to say step side, but it's, it says swept side pickup. Asking 79995 for it. Look at this. Look at, wow. <laughs> All I can say is just wow. I've not seen one of these before. Look at that. That is so cool. They're asking 79995. I can't remember if I said that or not. Look at this. It's got a 318 V8. The 1963 Studebaker Avanti. Asking 42995 for it. It's got a 289 in it. Let's walk down this line here. Here's a 1966 Pontiac convertible asking 64995 for it. It's got a 421 V8 in it. It's right next to a 55 Ford Fairlane Sunliner. 59995 272 V8. I'm trying to figure out the color of this. It almost looks like a purple. I can't 
a really deep purple or a brown. Here's a 1960 Plymouth Fury. Asking 79995 for it. It's got a 318 V8. Here's an old Etzel, old Etzel Pacer, 1958, asking 49.995. The E car. <laughs> Etzel. <laughs> it's got a 361 V8 in it. Here, another uh, Studebaker Champ truck, pickup truck. It's a 62. They're asking 39995. It's got a 259 V8 in it. Talk about some uh, some tight parking jobs in this place. Look at this. <laughs> right next to the Plymouth Fury. My goodness. Diamond plate toolbox back here. Here's another 56 Pontiac Star Chief Custom asking $35,995. It's got the 317 Strato Street V8. <laughs> Another uh, 56 Oldsmobile 88, 89.95 for this, 89.995. Here's a 49 Ford F1 pickup, Resto Mod, asking 41.995. It's got a 305 V8 in it. Of course, some newer stuff in the interior be an arresto mod but man it's nice and I love this color the dual exhaust yeah moving right along here that old Indianapolis 500 pace car Corvette here what year did they put these out 2007 asking 43995 for this kind of a fun car all these pace cars you see them every once in a while Base car versions of the car that year. <laughs> Here's a 1958 Buick Station Wagon. Buick Special Riviera State Wagon. Asking $69,995. Look at this thing. It's incredible. Wow, look at that. got a 364 nail head in it. Wow. <laughs> this thing is pretty incredible.
starting to lose my mind. I can't remember which cars I've filmed already, so I apologize if I miss any, but I, th I think I'm getting them all. Maybe twice. Here's a 57 Ford Fairlane 500 Skyliner. Retractable, of course. This is the one where the, the big hardtop comes off and it folds into the trunk back here. And the tr big trunk opens up and everything. It's incredible. Asking uh, 59995. This is such cool car. This one's got the 312 in it. Here's a 1957 Chrysler 300C. Sometimes I believe these models have record players in them. This one doesn't. But correct me if I'm wrong, I do think that these uh, sometimes came with the record player this year. Just never get tired of looking at these cars, man. How they're fabricated and designed and the taillights and all the creativity put in them. Ooh, an Eldorado. 1959 Cadillac Eldorado. They are asking just under 300,000 for this car. 299,995. Incredible car. Here's some of the facts on this one. some of the cars around and take some pictures of them. <laughs> so Ford Model A. Victoria asking $29,995. Next to a Ford Thunderbird, a 56. Hey, Suzanne Summers model. Well, hers wasn't a convertible, I don't think. $39,995. 1965 Chevy Corvette convertible. That's been 69995. This has the 454 V8 in it. The Thunderbird's got the 312 V8 in it. This has got a 200 L head in line 4. Do you think if I took one of these signs right here? for this uh, cabinet and just put it on this 65 Corvette, they'd let me take it home? <laughs> I'm guessing no. Whew, that is nice. This is a 57 Chevy. They're souping up here, getting ready for some pictures, I think. Absolutely incredible, beautiful 57 convertible. Asking 139995 for it. It's got the 283 V8 in it. Sneak back here and get some pictures while they're taking some pictures. <laughs> Man, everything is just perfect. I'm not sure what exactly, but. We should better take from the driver's side. Yeah. There's a 61 Studebaker Hawk. Asking 38,995. Can't remember if I got this Ford Fairlane yet or not. It's a beautiful Ford Fairlane though. 390 in it? Yeah. They didn't come with it. Okay. Wow. Yeah, this is just 
Is this one for sale or is it sold? Yeah, for sale. How much are they asking for? 44. He's got 25 grand in a motor. Yeah. It's, it's actually in pristine condition. 58. Uh huh. Barely in the back seat. Oh, okay. Boss that. Got a cruise Transmission in it. I love 58. I'm, I'm a real odd duck. Most people do not like. But a bell, uh, but a two door hardtop is so few and far between. Yeah. That's a beauty. Man, this is nice, a 1958 Ford Fairlane, 500. Like you said, some custom work put in her, a 390 in it. Let's go take a look again in the interior. All right, well, forgive me if I missed any in here. Gosh, I think I filmed every single one. So I'm gonna go out to the front now and film the cars they have in their front, uh, their front showroom. If I miss any, you'll probably be able to find them on their website. They also have a YouTube channel too, so make sure you, you can see more information about each of these cars on their YouTube channel. Let's go out front here and take a look. Squeaky shoes. And I apologize for the lighting out here. So it's it's kind of tough lighting to do photography in, but as soon as the camera adjusts, it looks fine. Oh, nice, it's Impala. It's, uh, 1964 Chevy Impala asking 129.995. It's got a 409 in it. This thing is in great condition. Uh, right behind another incredible looking Impala. Look at that. This is another 1960 Chevy Impala. There was another uh, red one in the showroom in the back there, the warehouse we were just in. This one is going for 124,995. It's got a uh, 348 in it. Look at that, air conditioned. <laughs> Especially on a day like today, being a convertible, all the AC you can need. It's like 30 degrees outside. Here's a 1950 Chevy truck. That's going 46,995 for her. Got a Thriftmaster 235 in line six. That is a cool truck right there. I love the red and the white. Got a 55 Buick Special convertible here. It's got a 264 nail head V8 in it. Pontiac Star Chief. 
Askin 79995. It's got a 347 Strato Street V8. Another 64 Impala. So nice. 98995 for this one. It's got a 409 in it, V8. Beautiful. Got a Chrysler Imperial here. 1959 Imperial Crown Convertible. Actually, maybe uh maybe the Chrysler badge wasn't on the 59 Imperial, it was just Imperial, I think. Wow, look at that. The Imperial logo there above the headlight. Floors are squeaky clean. 72 Chevy Malibu. Chevelle Malibu. It's got a 350 in it. They're asking 79,995. 1969 Oldsmobile 442. A 400 V8 in it. Asking 59995. They sold this Mustang here. Sold. Beauty. Got the fastback. Let's see why that one sold. It's nice. a 53 Ford pickup asking 42995 it's got a 239 L head V8 in it 1973 asking 31995 it's got the air-cooled engine in it of course being a Volkswagen 1600 cc inline four <laughs> such unique vehicles look at the floorboards a little something like a boat it's like the ribs in a boat almost a little cheat sheet on the dashboard can you see that for the uh, shifter, focus on the shifter. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, this has been a fun day. Cruise down through here one more time and out the door. We're about done here, guys. So thanks for watching this episode of Matt's Rad Show. I do appreciate it, especially if you made it through the entire video I always enjoy coming to this place at least once a year because their inventory turns around it's all new cars since last time I was here it takes them about a year I guess to <laughs> sell everything I don't know if you end up uh, buying a car after watching this video let me know leave a comment below and just let me know it's kind of be fun to know if you found a car that you wanted. Alrighty gang. That wraps this episode up here.
Alrighty gang, well, that's all the time I have for this episode, so I want to say thank you guys for watching. Um, again, in the comments, let me know below what was your favorite car from today's episode. And do let me know if you end up, uh, you know, finding one of these cars, you're just like, gotta have it, buy it. <laughs> It'd be kind of fun to know if anybody finds a car on my, uh, my video here and purchases it. So, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. But do thank you for watching this video, and I will check you next time on Matt's Rad Show. Thanks for watching, gang. Travel on down the road. Check you later. Okay, bye.